Interacting with insurance companies is a pain point for consumers. Andrew, with Koya, you're aiming to streamline and improve the insurance interaction experience for consumers. How does your own personal experience dealing with insurers inspire you to create Koya? I'd looked at insurance companies and, and seen how sort of their data was really siloed between so many different systems. They had no direct interaction with the clients. So there were a lot of big problems to solve there, but it wasn't really until sort of traveling around and really sort of getting into the idea and, and, and fixating on building an insurance company that I realized what the true problems were. I was traveling around uh, Gili Islands. It's uh, somewhere in Indonesia and uh, I was super excited, but instead of Getting out there, uh, I, I got sick in bed for a week. I felt extremely left alone when I had to deal with the insurance and uh, I realized that the problems were a lot more human. Was I covered when I expected to be covered? How painful was the experience actually finding out where my insurance policy was, making that claim, figuring out that I wasn't covered for the flights I just missed? So that actually broke down the trust with the insurance carrier. So I kind of like thought of combining that consumer experience problem, you know, the feeling you get when you're left alone and the support you should have needed, uh, with the idea of leveraging data to solve these problems. Sequoia introduced uh, a new form of insurance that lets people have a lot of flexibility with in terms of their contract and term, but also you've coined the idea of a micro contract. We've broken down the traditional insurance policy into a lot of smaller policies. So smaller micro policies we call atomic risks. It's basically a combination of the, uh, the, the object and the risk associated with this, because by breaking it down, we could repackage it around the consumer. So we want to make it just far more accessible. Like really, you can buy it in a few clicks. You can get it online wherever your point of need is. The price is way lower. Like um, it's a fully digitalized architecture. Like I was sitting with our CTO the other day and he was showing us the, the live insurance journey of our users. And it's like, it looks like a digital highway end to end. It's not like digital distribution only online. It's really end to end. So that uh, automation, that awareness, that control you can have uh, is what really can cut those costs down. Well, the idea of giving people the opportunity to insure a single object for a specific period of time sounds like there's going to have a wide range of applications. I think you're going to find users uh, actually telling us the applications more and more because if you look at our lives, they, they're changing radically, right? We don't want to be locked into these long-term contracts um, which are static policies and can't be changed. Right. Our lives are changing radically faster. We let new people into our homes, so why aren't the insurance policies changing with those lives. In the medium and long term, um, we would see ourselves a little bit more like an Amazon, uh, where we have an amazing customer experience. It's, it's super convenient, um, it's transparent and, and trustworthy. But then when you go below onto the infrastructure layer, at some point we would like to be providing infrastructure for the industry. From beyond Germany, where are the next markets that you're going to expand this into? Obviously, the luxury of being in the European Union is that you have freedom of services across uh, the whole of Europe. So we're concentrating on our consumers uh, here in Germany right now, but we're already in discussions with partners who are based uh, in, in other countries across the Union. The beauty is that wherever there is uh, an Amazon uh, instance, we could deploy the system within uh, minutes. Uh, so the, the ultimate cost of getting live in these new regions is a lot less from a technological perspective and with a pure direct digital distribution, obviously, on that side too.